Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about the difference between exudates and transudates. Transudates are mostly seen in non-inflammatory conditions. These are conditions where there is either a stagnation of fluid or reduced oncotic pressure like heart failure, nephrotic syndrome, cirrhosis of liver and superior vena cava obstruction. Whereas exudates are seen in inflammatory infective conditions like pulmonary embolism, tuberculosis, infections of the lung which could be viral, bacterial or fungal, connective tissue disorders and Meeks syndrome. Now let us look at the features of exudates and transudates. Now the main thing that you have to remember is that exudates are seen in inflammatory conditions. So all the features of exudates will have an inflammation like appearance. Let us first see the mechanism of formation of both of them. Transudates are formed due to increased hydrostatic pressure. Now we know increased hydrostatic pressure could be either due to accumulation of fluid as seen in heart failure or in superior vena cava obstruction or there could be a relative increase in hydrostatic pressure due to reduced oncotic pressure. Vascular permeability is perfectly normal in transudates. So this fluid is pushed out of the blood vessel due to an increase in the hydrostatic pressure. The fluid seen is actually an ultrafiltrate of blood. Whereas exudates are formed due to inflammation. This inflammation causes damage to the blood vessels which increases permeability of the blood vessels and causes the leakage of inflammatory or purulent type of fluid. Transudative fluid has a pale straw colored appearance whereas an exudative fluid will have a purulent or hemorrhagic appearance. Protein content is lesser in transudative fluids and the predominant protein in transudates will be albumin. Whereas in exudates protein content is much higher and fibrinogen is the main protein. It is because of this fibrinogen that exudates clot very easily. But glucose content is higher in transudates. It will be the same as plasma, whereas it is much lower in exudates. Specific gravity of transudates is lesser. It will be less than 1.018. Whereas specific gravity of exudates is higher, which means it is a thicker fluid. You can also remember this by the fact that exudates have a higher protein content because of which they clot easily. So this makes them thicker. Since transudates are caused by non-inflammatory conditions, bacteria are absent and inflammatory cells are very few in number. Whereas, since exudates are caused by inflammatory conditions and infections, there will be a high number of bacteria and also a high number of inflammatory cells. The cells that are seen in transudates are mesothelial cells, whereas the cell types seen in exudates are neutrophils. LDH level is also lower in transudates and it is much higher in exudates. LIGHTS criteria is a specialized criteria which is used to diagnose exudates. It consists of three components. Amount of LDH present in the pleural fluid, ratio of pleural fluid protein by serum protein and ratio of pleural fluid LDH by serum LDH. If the amount of LDH in the pleural fluid is more than two-third of the upper limit of plasma, if the pleural fluid protein and serum protein ratio is more than 0.5, 
and if the pleural fluid LDH by serum LDH ratio is more than 0.6, it means that the fluid is an exudate.